Welcome to the Michael F. Price College of Business Spring 2019 Convocation Ceremony at the University of Oklahoma. I am pleased to present this morning's platform party, Dean Daniel W. Pullen and the faculty of Price College. This morning's flag and banner carriers are Hannah Campos, representing the Steed School of Accounting, carrying the American flag. Alexandria Arndorfer, representing the Tom Wolf Division of Entrepreneurship and Economic Development, carrying the State of Oklahoma flag. Heather Cole, representing the Finance Division, carrying the University of Oklahoma flag. Aaron Seidel, representing the Management and International Business Division, carrying the Price College banner. Timothy Fisher, representing the Management Information Systems Division, carrying the Purpose of Price banner. Morgan Deming, representing the Marketing and Supply Chain Management Division, carrying this year's Senior Class banner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the doctoral, masters, and baccalaureate candidates for the class of 2019.
Please be seated. Good morning. All right. Brett, well done at 8 a.m. Hey, everybody. I haven't met all of you. I met a bunch of you. But if I haven't met you, I'm Daniel Pullen. And for the last six years, I've had the honor to serve as the dean and Fred E. Brown chair of the Michael F. Price College of Business. And on behalf of the faculty and the staff and the alumni of the college, I want to welcome you to our spring convocation. We are recognizing some amazing talent, the next generation of leaders for Oklahoma and beyond here in the year 2019. They have amazing achievements that we're going to celebrate today. But before we get into that, let us begin our program with a time-honored tradition. One of the talented students we have is an accounting senior, and she is amazing in the classroom, and she is amazing in the concert hall. To perform the national anthem, Alexis Mann. Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Equally as beautiful are our amazing college faculty leaders who are joining us this morning, and I'd like to take a moment to recognize them. Joining me on the platform is Dr. Wayne Thomas, the recently appointed interim dean of Price College of Business. Wayne. He will begin his duties on Monday morning, uh, which uh, I'm excited about, so congratulations. Uh, uh, also uh, on our platform is Dr. Robert Doffenbach, Senior Associate Dean of Economic Development and Impact, Dr. Fran Ayers, Associate Dean of Faculty and Research, Dr. Laku Chittabaram, Associate Dean of Academic Programs and Engagement. Also joining us today is a very special guest, Dr. Chris Purcell, Executive Secretary of the OU Board of Regents and OU's Vice President for University Governance. From the Steed School of Accounting, Cindy Kucha and Depanker Ghosh, from the Tom Love Division of Entrepreneurship and Economic Development, Tom Lumpkin, Ron Bolin, and Marcus Wolf. From the Finance Division, Scott Lynn, Bill Meganson, Lubo Litov, and Jim McCown. From the Management and Yeah, you guys can applaud these people. They're amazing, right? Yeah. From the Management and International Business Division, Mark Sharfman, Ron Anderson, Craig Russell, Ryan Spaulding, and Shelley Grunstead, and the retiring director of the Robert M. Zinke Energy Management Program, Steve Long. From Marketing and Supply Chain Management, Ron Davidson, Chong Wayne, and Ken Peterson. From Management and Information Systems, Radhika Santhanam, Shyla Miranda, Alex Dersakova, Matt Jensen, and Hessian Sun. I would also like to recognize our faculty that are serving as marshals from the Steed School of Accounting, Joe Doolin. From Marketing and Supply Chain Management, Carolyn Jensen and Jocelyn Peterson. And from Management and International Business, Dr. Anna Bellino. Please join me in recognizing this tremendous group. A number of our students today are wearing special regalia. It's representative of their academic accomplishments, and all those accomplishments are listed in your program. These accomplishments indicate that they have demonstrated superior academic performance in all of their academic en endeavors. Now, students, today, this morning, even though it's 8 a.m., it represents an amazing, an amazing milestone in your life. 
And while it is an acknowledgement of your past success, it's also, uh, it also marks an important beginning in so many ways. And I want to wish you, I want to be the first to wish you uh, success as you embark on an exciting career or continuation of your studies at the graduate level uh, or anything you do otherwise to seek opportunities to impact the world for the good. Your achievements are rarely the result of any single person's effort. And so I'm so pleased to see so many family and friends here today, so many uh, OU alums that have joined us. Thank you for encouraging your graduate. Thank you for your emotional and your financial support of our young people. And it is your day, too, to celebrate their success. Students, graduates, please join me in giving your families and friends a well-deserved round of applause. As a purpose-driven organization, Price College of Business works tirelessly to ensure the enduring global competitiveness of Oklahoma and the nation. And today, I am so proud to highlight just a few examples of how our students, our faculty and staff, and our alumni are generating valuable insights into the greatest business issues of our time, and then preparing our students as leaders to deploy and improve upon those insights and practice. Our record enrollments, our record faculty growth in Price College, it broadens our impact in so many ways. It ensures that our students can earn a world-class business education right here in Oklahoma. And at Price College, our students are working arm in arm each and every day with our faculty, our staff, our alumni, our corporate partners, and so many others who are contributing to our connected community. One example of this is our Center for Student Success, which enhances our students' educations curricularly, co-curricularly, and extracurricularly. Um, it, through opportunities such as our JCPenney Leadership Program, the Steve Dolman Study Abroad Office, the First Fidelity Bank Integrated Business Corps, our Office of Diversity and Inclusion, the Multicultural Business Program, and the Price Passport to Success. And I love this Passport to Success because it provides our students the tools necessary to enhance both their professional and their personal lives by preparing them as successful, culturally competent, global-ready business leaders. When students finish our Passport to Success program, they walk away uh, unmatched by peers at other business schools. The pillars of the Passport program center on community and globalization and work and life skills, and finally, leadership. Each pillar has activities that students can select, and they are required to achieve 40 milestones prior to graduation. Today, we recognize the very first graduating class at Price College with students who have fulfilled this impressive professional development requirement. Students, if you have completed the Passport to Success, please stand and be recognized. <laughs> Elsewhere, I am so proud to share that for the fifth consecutive year, leaders of our Student Business Association, acting on their own accord, called upon their peers to help future generations of Price College students. They fundraised for the 2019 Senior Class Gift, and today I would like to announce that the students here today, the class of 2019, collectively raised over $12,000 for all new benches to line the hallways of our, the second and third floor of Price Hall. Faculty and students understand just how important it is to have a comfortable place to study, to converse, or even just rest between classes, and the new furniture will be used widely by students at Price College for years to come. Please join me in congratulating our senior class and our students for their co-investment in our future and the growing excellence as we maintain access to opportunity, which is the public hallmark of higher education. Now, as the first dean of Price College to actually graduate from Price College, turns out that I can uh, give the alumni address this year. And so I'm really excited to share with you a few, uh, a few thoughts that I have about your career path and uh, lessons that I've learned in, in mine. So, first of all, you should be totally proud of the hard work and the dedication that you've shown in doing the special things necessary to be admitted to this very special place and then to do the special things required to walk across the stage in just a few moments. My experience suggests that earning a degree from Price College is an achievement that will stand the test of time. And if you're like me, it will derive a string of benefits for the rest of your uh, career. Likewise, as you ascend to the level of a Price College graduate, it also incurs an important obligation on you. You have to get comfortable moving from the position of being a mentee from our faculty and staff and alumni and so many that have cared for you to be 
thinking about yourself as a mentor and to cultivate the next generation of youth. And so in the next few moments, I want to share with you um, my thoughts on um, some important matters, the things that have really shaped my pathway from Price College to the dean's office and beyond. And I want to address specifically the role of an institution, an institution like Price College in the University of Oklahoma is, uh, as, a, as a breeding ground to prepare you for a life of leadership as you manage your career for outsized impact. There are many great institutions in the world. Um, family is an institution. Um, your spirituality is an institution, economic systems, legal systems, the media, arts, government, non-governmental organizations, and so on and so on. And in most respects, I believe that institutions exist to achieve what any individual, any one of us cannot alone. Institutions exist to advance our collective good. Of course, many institutions lose their way from time to time, and unfortunately, a few of them do so forever. But for the most part, the fact that institutions are almost always a composite of great people and great ideas, for the most part, the best of them generally shines through. It's the power of the many, it's the power of the crowd, if you will, that allows institutions to be resilient, to stand the test of time, and as suggested in our very own Purpose of Price, to endure. Such is the case with the institution which we all love, which has brought us here today, the University of Oklahoma. This year, OU turns 129 years old, and, and by any me measure, it has fulfilled the purpose of an institution designed to advance the greater good, specifically in Oklahoma and across the nation. Just think about the 300,000 OU alumni that our students are going to join today, over 40,000 Price College of Business alumni. Think of the companies they have joined and grown or, uh, or, or launched or started because they needed to exist. Think of the many jobs and families and communities that have been strengthened as the result of the intellectual investment of this institution and its graduates. Now, by now, most of our students are familiar with OU's, in my opinion, most iconic image, and that is the, of the seed sower, which is, to me, the most iconic symbol of the enduring importance and possibility of our institution. Most of our students know that the OU seed sower was fashioned after the likeness of the very first president of OU, David Ross Boyd. And in many ways, I feel like each of the students here today and all the hundreds of thousands of OU graduates are, are, are the products in many ways of one of President Boyd's seeds. OU is the place where our students arrive to be planted in a fertile field of opportunity. Our world-class faculty and caring staff tend these fields each and every day to ensure growth at every turn. These seeds of possibility take instant root, instant root at this university, where our institutional strength is derived from all of us as we celebrate a diversity of people and a diversity of programs and a diversity of ideas. Nurturing our diversity gives us great strength. It allows us to blossom, and it signifies the people that we can become. And as our students blossom, they gain knowledge. They learn about others. But most importantly, they learn about themselves. Our students flourish in the field alongside classmates who will become lifelong friends, colleagues, collaborators, business partners. Someone might become their spouse or their advocate in good times and in bad. And at today's graduation, we all get to collectively bask in their brilliance as we applaud their accolades, and their aspirations. Starting today and for the rest of their days, our students have the opportunity to co-invest in our institution's future. They have the opportunity to grow and extend its impact, to ensure that it is stronger than any one of us, and that its strength is derived from the field of seeds, which has quite literally grown into our field of dreams. Students, today you have earned the opportunity and have accrued the obligation to replant, to reinvest, and ultimately sow the seeds of possibility as Sooners, just as President David Ross Boyd did over a century ago. So how do you earn this opportunity to reseed and reinvest? Said simply, you must design your pathway to have success, not only in your career, but in your life. Foremost, this entails understanding that you've done more here than just acquire a credential and a fancy piece of paper, which you will receive shortly. In reality, you have achieved, you've achieved so much more. Yes, graduating college is important, but please think of yourself not just as a graduate, 
Instead, think of yourself as a leader of people. You are the kind of person ready to add value day one upon graduation as you lead by serving others and by starting and joining the world's great companies that create and deliver products that lift humanity as a whole. And the great thing about defining yourself and living your life as a leader is that leadership is one of the most valuable, valuable, valuable skills in society today. And it will be for decades to come. Even as recently when I, as when I graduated Price College uh, 21 years ago, the most valuable career currency at the time might have just been the graduate's ability to accumulate knowledge. What you could cram into your head and what you knew that other folks didn't was what could separate you from the pack. So in the way back, perhaps, it was, uh, it was the ability to memorize and internalize the world's well-settled knowledge that, that allowed you to handle the matters of importance of the day. But today it's different. It's volatile. It's uncertain. It's complicated. It's ambiguous. It's no longer sufficient just to know the facts, just to know the answers by activating. I mean, any of us could get the facts and answers. You could just activate the, the mobile device in your pocket if you haven't already. Today, it's really about the next, not just the now, which is why what we do here in Price College is not about just getting you your first job, even though over 90% of you are going to have a job by the time you walk across the stage, and I'm so proud of that. It's about getting your last job and every job in between because it's really, it's your last job that allows you to make the biggest difference in the world, to affect as many people in the most significant way. And how you navigate your career to get your last job, it has nothing to do with your ability to access the well-settled and the well-known answers. Everybody can do that. The skill, that skill is just a commodity today. So it's really about taking your experiences here and at Price College, and it's about getting fired up to think critically to challenge the status quo, to think differently, and ultimately, in the words of acclaimed author Warren Berger, to be able to ask the most beautiful questions, the type of questions that can lead to breakthrough ideas and solutions that improve the world. And so to get your last job, which is your most important job, you've got to go beyond knowledge. And as quickly and as boldly as possible, you have to envision the change that is needed in the world. You have to acquire the resources to support this pursuit. You have to share your vision with others. You have to inspire and motivate them to action. Guys, I mean, that's leadership. And so how do you earn the right to lead? Well, an old African proverb goes something like this. If you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. And what this ultimately means is that as a leader, at least a leader as defined by someone with formal authority to direct the action of others, any leader can go, twi uh, can go quickly and then go fast toward their goal as they choose it. They can command their subordinates to follow suit in straight file line and comply with their wishes. In such a style, it might be quick, it might be drastic, it might be catnip for those who write headlines, but ultimately, it's really just a strategy based upon expediency. It's a strategy that instills sometimes a bit or maybe even a lot of fear among the leader's team, employees, or even in the crowd itself. And so the problem with such approach is that the leader will over time, and regardless of their own individual talent, will falter. And they'll leave no one by their side to catch them, to support them, or to push them through the challenges of the day. The crowd, or what remains of it, will be too far back in line, too distant from the formation, uh, uh, there'll be too distant in formation from a front row seat to the opportunity to do anything about it. In such an approach, it compromises the team's faith, it's their awareness and their buy-in of the leader's own chosen course of action. The broader group won't be motivated to rush to aid to ensure the leader's lasting ability to lead at all. So I think the proverb is really suggesting an alternative approach to leadership a far more courageous pathway to impact, the kind of imprint that can last for a career and for a life, and ultimately for the ages, the kind of approach that allows each and every one of us to make the biggest difference on as many people as possible. The proverb is asking us not to go fast, but to go far and to go together. And so to achieve this, leaders must practice, in my opinion, three types of courage, types of courage that are far too uncommon today. So if you want to go far, as the proverb states, first, you have to have leadership 
that takes the courage to listen. Despite the popular belief or what's often portrayed in the movies, leaders do not have all the answers. They can't. And the best leaders recognize they don't know it all. They take the time to allow themselves not to be impervious, but rather to be vulnerable. The best leaders listen authentically. They learn from others and they take advantage of that information to then determine the best risk-adjusted path forward. Next, leaders have the courage to act. While there's great merit to having the courage to listen, leaders ultimately must decide what to do. You can't turn data set after data set over right, without driving to conclusion. Leaders must decide, they must act, they must move the organization, the cause, the mission, the purpose forward. But ultimately, if leaders want to go far, they must, they must go together. And so they must practice the third type of courage, the courage to explain. Leaders must be disciplined enough and take the time to communicate not only the course of action, but the rationale for doing so. And even if certain members of the team or employees don't agree with that decision, at least they know they had the platform, the opportunity to offer ideas without repercussions because their leader listened, their leader learned. And at least they know that their organization isn't just standing still with the well settled, and instead they know that their organization is moving forward because their leader had the courage to act. And ultimately, if they don't even agree with the leader, at least the team knows the rationale for the decision because their leader had the courage to explain the, the why, not just the what is to be done. So taken together, the teams that you are graduates today will lead, those teams won't fear you, they will respect you. They will feel comfortable speaking up to share their very best ideas and the kind of ideas that will make your own even stronger. They will walk beside you. They will pick you up when you stumble. They will ensure that your leadership and your impact will endure. So what makes me so proud today is that I know so many of you personally, and I've taught you semester after semester in the classroom, that you've taught me so much more about the possibilities and promise of your generation. This gives me great optimism for all of our future. And on balance, my estimation is that today's graduates and the groups that will follow you are going to display the necessary courage to listen, to act, to explain, and be not just leaders in the formal sense, but instead aspire to be those who lead, those who inspire others to go far and to go together. And such an outlook allows you to focus on building relationships. It allows you to get to know people, to help them, to listen to them, to legitimize them. Then as a byproduct of those relationships, it allows you to stretch your capabilities. It puts you in the position of taking risks and learning from your mistakes, which brings me to an unattributed quote that has defined the way I have built my career and my life since I was sitting in the same chair as you 21 years ago. The quote is this, the only things in life that you truly regret are the things that you never do. Life is about going for it. It's about casting your fear aside and embracing the power of courage. Because even if you take a shot and you get shot down, you have the opportunity to learn from it. If you fail, you get the chance to assess why you did so, what could be different, what went wrong, and most importantly, what you can do about it differently if you're put in a similar situation in the future. So how can you possibly regret something that helps you grow, that helps you advance, that puts you in a stronger position for success, that allows you to earn the right to call yourself among those who lead? You can't regret an opportunity that allows you to improve. Instead, it's the shots that you don't take that you'll regret that will linger forever. It's the doors you don't walk through, the innings that you stay in the dugout but don't take the field. That's what's going to haunt you. You'll never get those chances back, and you'll forego the successes that might create or the learnings that might inspire as you, prog as you progress in a flourishing career in life. Life is about going for it, and I encourage you to go big. Change the world and make yourself proud. So for the final time, I thank you for the honor of serving as your dean for the last six years. At every turn, my wife, Tamara, and my two boys, Parker and Halsey, have tried to lead with courage. We have listened and we have learned from you. 
We have been bold. We've taken informed action based upon your ideas. We have chosen to move our college forward in important ways. We are graduates from this institution. We know it of its enduring strength because of the power of you. The combined strength that all Sooners provide OU will ensure our enduring impact for the next 129 years. Just as importantly, we know your education at OU's Price College has instilled in you the courage to become one of those who lead. Through your ability to listen, to act, to explain, as you manage your career by aiming not just for your first job, but for your last job. And while many of you know that the next chapter of my professional career lies ahead back in Texas at TCU, Tamara and I leave here with pride and confidence that we've made a difference. We've given OU and Oklahoma our best to fulfill the purpose of prize, to ensure the enduring global competitiveness of Oklahoma and the nation. The ultimate instrument of Price College's impact is you, our graduates, as you and we prepare to lead Oklahoma in the future. Thank you again for this tremendous opportunity to serve. We will, for ne we will never forget that you have invested in us in so many ways. We have gone far by going together. Now, I would like to introduce one of our graduating students, Anthony Ifoli. Yeah, he's a stud. Uh, he's an accelerated MIS Master's of Information Technology and Data Analytics student who came to OU as a Davis Scholar from Lagos, Nigeria. He Lagos! He has impressed faculty with his diligence, his talent, his mannerisms, and as he's finished our accelerated program in a record just four years. He was a member of the team that took first place at the SAP Co-Innovation Competition held at Deloitte University in August of last year. The competition brought 64 students from 16 universities across the United States to, de to develop real-world solutions leveraging SAP technology. Deloitte must have been impressed with Anthony because after completing his internship with First Fidelity Bank, he was offered a job. Please help me in welcoming to the podium Anthony Ifoli. Good morning, everyone. My name is Anthony Foley, and I'm incredibly honored and humbled to be here right now. Though my parents could not be here today, it makes me happy to know they are streaming this program live from Nigeria. I'd like to take a moment and thank them for their unending love and support, which have made all the difference in my life. As a matter of fact, please join me now, and let's thank all our parents, friends, teachers, and everyone who have made this celebration possible. Fellow graduates, congratulations. Congratulations on a successful completion of one of the many milestones life presents. In the words of Winston Churchill, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts. In other words, this well-deserved success we've accomplished today is not the end. It is in fact the very inception of an important stage in our lives. The hurdles we have encountered to reach this finish line only prepared us for the rigors of a more strenuous race ahead. And to be courageous is to never give up, no matter how exhausting this race might be. That said, we must continue to work hard because there is hard work to do. And I'll tell you why. In 2013, I left Nigeria and moved to Canada alone, where I studied for two years at Lester B. Pearson United World College prior to attending the University of Oklahoma. 
If you're familiar with the United World College movement, you know that it aims to use education as a force to unite peoples, nations, and cultures for peace and a sustainable future. It was through this international program that I became good friends with an Ivorian, a Ghanaian, a Canadian, an American, a Japanese, just to name a few. Not only did I create strong relationships with people from all around the world, that program also allowed me to realize the true challenges the world is currently facing and the greater purpose that we collectively have, especially as business leaders, in solving these global problems. Now we have a lot of work to do. We have seen businesses stepping up to tackling inequality, racial, LGBTQIA+, and gender-related issues. We have seen businesses engaging in the improvement of labor policies. And we have seen businesses implementing actionable measures to mitigate climate change. Though maximizing profits is important for a business, these great purposes I have mentioned are equally as important, if not more important. By graduating from this prestigious university with business degrees, we are conferred the strategic, tactical, and technical prowess to question the status quo and be the change that we want to see in the world. So, let's be our authentic selves and never compromise our authenticity due to any social, economic, or political pressure because the world needs more people who dare to be themselves. Congratulations, Sinas. Thank you. Thank you, Anthony. I think you represent uh, one voice amongst hundreds of future leaders graduating today, and collectively I could not feel more optimistic about your future. As we prepare to recognize our graduates, I'd like to acknowledge the families that have multiple generations of OU alumni, the legacy of sending your children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren and maybe even great-great-grandchildren to OU is an important part of the success of this great institution. President Gallagher has intensified the effort to create a university family, and through your family, you have helped us continue this amazing Sooner tradition. Thank you for your commitment to OU, and for many of you, your continued involvement with Price College. All right, let's get ready to rumble. The moment you've all been waiting for, Tom Greenlee, Director of the Career Counseling uh, Center for Student Success, and Matt Jensen, Associate Professor of Management Information Systems, will now announce the names of our graduates. Associate Dean Ayers, Associate Dean Chitterbarham, will you please assist me with providing each graduate a diploma cover? We ask family members and guests to please remain seated until the completion of the ceremony. A professional photographer will take each graduate's picture. It is now my honor to present the University of Oklahoma's Michael F. Price College of Business Class of 2019. Today we're pleased to be joined by one doctoral candidate. Price College is proud of the record number of doctoral candidates in recent years. Official hoodings were conferred at the university-wide commencement ceremony, which took place last evening. <laughs> Dr. C. Chip. And now our master's candidates. Master's candidates are wearing black hoods, which combines the crimson and cream of the university colors with a bronze trim to signify their advanced business degree. Master tassels are black. Presenting our first graduate, her diploma, is her mother-in-law, Dr. Chris Purcell, Executive Secretary of the OU Board of Regents and Vice President for University Governance. Claire Louise Robinson, a third generation graduate. Hannah Campus.
Claire Victoria Termel, a second generation graduate. Anthony Udala Yafoli. Benjamin Joseph Eichard, a second generation graduate. Michael Scott Blomgren. Wait. Presenting our next graduate, her diploma, is her father, professor and price chair of finance, William Megginson. Melissa Margaret Megginson. Cody Wayne Jones. Adam Christopher Basile. Shoeb Hussein. Kevin Dale Peoples Jr. Michael J. Angelis. Michael J. Angelis. Nicole Deanne Baylor Fritz. Max Bevin. <laughs> Marisa Colleen Hutchison. Adam Clinton. Rod Monasterio. Yeah. Melissa Pierre Martin. All right. Nate Lindsay. Anthony Brandon McVeigh. Jeff Buderbau. Alexander Roman Labodiak. Bradley Michael Panzer. Marco Antonio Zavala. Sarah Elizabeth Lorraine Fenton. Ryan Michael Ben. Esmeralda Hedin Buasha. Mark Allen Irving. Bashazil Linui Shizukande. Alexander Taft Borland. Anna Lee Barton. Reed Mueller. Garrett Reed Mueller. Blake Weldon Langston. Kaylin Marie Huff. Wesley Henry. Sarah Elizabeth Basho. Jack William Palmer. Rachel Leanne Lyon. Rhett Matthew Pruitt. Jessica Joy Choate. Logan Scott Lambert. Novotny. Novotny. Joan Caitlin Novotny. Kenneth Clayton Bass. Jonathan Daniel Hill. Samuel J. Jew, a second generation graduate. Michael Green. Wajahat Ali. Benjamin Kraft. Cooper Elise Taylor, a third generation graduate. Danielle Elise Wilson. Michelle Elizabeth Powers, a second generation graduate. Tyler John Tokarzik. Rachel Leah Cummings. Thomas Weston Hamilton. Alexandra Brooks Byers. Tu Dow. Brianna Joe Ogden. Kevin Michael Lee Copeland. 
Kendall Lauren Couch, a third generation graduate. Joseph Wesley Kennedy. David Matthew Lytle. Caitlin Charlotte Michaelby, a third generation graduate. Jacob Ryan Mathis. Catherine Monroe Highland. Peyton Smith. James Ian Frost. Kyle Gorbett Story, a third generation graduate. Ethan Ross Siegel. Christopher William Robbins. Carl Samuel West. Colin McKay Short, a second generation graduate. Bo Weston Shelby, a second generation graduate. Nick Andrew Pacheco. Christopher Michael Starr, a second generation graduate. Spencer Gatewood Wynn. John Matthew Wasserman, a third generation graduate. Patrick Evan Sauer. Bahetti. Raul Rashesh Ramesh Bahetti. Carolyn Tyree Linscott, a third generation graduate. DJ Hicks. Drew Heston Kimball. Prapti Ubadai. Jonathan Robert Gibson, a second generation graduate. Kartika Pillai. Brett Lowe Jr. Hey. Jacob Douglas Lamb. Tyler Mark Blackwell. Nathan Douglas Napier. Hunter Christian Hansen, a second generation graduate. Akash Nan Bojwani. John Andrew Franken. Hope Elizabeth Hunt, a third generation graduate. Madison Lynn Kaser. Joseph Bennett Bozeman. Rachel Christine Murphy. Morgan Page Deming. Michelle Elaine Sanders. Aaron Catherine Seidel. Madeline Grace McKenzie, a third generation graduate. Timothy Dean Fisher. Sarah Catherine Smith. Heather Cole. Daniel Tristan Romo, a second generation graduate. Alexandria Arndorfer. Kathleen Marie Nelson. Help me. William Ramatabui. Jenna Ling. Andrew Seth Johnson. Michael Robert Benjamin. Jordan Cheyenne Smith. Shamika L. Wyatt. Savannah E. McCurdy. Dawn Marie Wilson. Lacey Elaine Lindsay Gonzalez. Lakin Elizabeth Riley. Uchao Angela Hill. 
Catherine Elaine Gomez. Yuriko Miyazaki. Andrew Mark Perry. Lauren Brooke Faircloth. Eric Kenrick Miller. Shannon Lehuanani Robeski. And we are into our ba bachelor candidates now. Reese Lambert, a second generation graduate. Lauren Ashton Shaw. Hudson James Lambert. One more time. Elena Kristen Michael. Jackson Stephen Tony. Kiara Nicholson. Christopher Allen Henry. Jenna Yasmin Davenport. Cole Patrick Turnip. Aiden K. White. Corey Allen Schreffler. Byron Nathaniel Grandjean. Hayden Miles Crandall. Haley Morgan Hall. Ethan David Filippo, a third generation graduate. Libby Ashley Schneider. Thomas Dean Lauer. Casey Ann Thomas. Lucas DeSiguera Mendez. Angela Marie Eshte. Andre Alexander Bala, a second generation graduate. Caleb Sewell Raper. Benton Avery Carlson. Noah Anderson Gordon. Conrad Killian Lofton. Kale Gordon Asperheim, a second generation graduate. Jason Lee Goodwin. Dalton James Allen. Lindsay Louise McElwee. Dalton James Cordell, a second generation graduate. William Crawford Dougherty. Julia J. White. Samuel Walker Coates. Anna Lynn Spence, a second generation graduate. Chandler Ross Hyatt. Hannah Elizabeth Slayton. Brennan Isaac Paylett. Brooke Emily Wombold, a second generation graduate. Riley Elizabeth Nevert. Elizabeth Louise Clements. Jordan Ashley Burdick, a second generation graduate. Colin Reed Johnson. Timothy Francis Sheridan. Joseph Andrian Velostas Lemke. Catherine Ann Tisdell. Tyler Joseph Lieb. Audrey Ruth Hera. Allison Brianne Leary, a third generation graduate. Mallory May Haynes. <laughs> Hannah Rose Gallahar. 
Marguerite Daly Privet. Kendra Michelle Novak. Reese Clayton Clark. Emily Grace Patterson. Connor Gray McGinnis, a third generation graduate. James Kent Hockaday. Joseph Robert Castiglio Jr. William Charles Schott IV. Melanie Weissite. Zachary Michael Henry, a third generation graduate. Caroline Denise Pitts. Naga Surgeon Gunturi. Katarina Barbara Schmidt. Justin James, a third generation graduate. Cheyenne Shanoa Hale. Joseph Ernesto Volo. Abigail Nishong Morgan. Brendan Luis Manquin. Cody Siana Lee. Evan William Del Casal. Justin Taylor McCowan, a second generation graduate. Hannah Marie Nelson. Grant Borland Manton. <laughs> Kevin Anthony Duong. Abigail Catherine Friedrich. Aaron Edward Kruger. Taylor Delaney Provo. Matthew Kane Randall, a third generation graduate. Jamie Aaron Sprague. <laughs> Jacob Daniel Meacham. Catherine Ann Ginther. Will Tate Harlan. Jennifer Maria Small. Seth Richard Lurie. Sarah Elizabeth Staley. Jason Dodge. Jason Dodge. Jordan Lynn Ennigan. Eric Wynn. Laura Lee Ob. Michael Charles Vassell. Congrats, man. Ryan Michael Jones, a third generation graduate. <coughs> Martin Antonio Carrion. David Arnold Signaler, a second generation graduate. And Kong. Oh, you say Kelvin Tran. Okay. I didn't know. Kelvin Tran, a second generation <laughs> graduate. Taylor Joe Ingall. Good to see you. Conrad Lewis Mahoney, a third generation graduate. Ashley Morgan Hill, a second generation oh. graduate. Madison Rose Horanek. Grayson Scott Bromber. Victoria Lynn Sakula. Michaela Claire Crow. Blake Darden Berger. Justin Terry Douglas. Jason Edward Dolan. Matthew Morgan. Connor Evan Cassidy, a second generation graduate. 
Jessica Carol Sipola, a second generation graduate. William Garrett Jones. Hannah Harlan Moore, a second generation graduate. Grant Thomas Lavardur. Alicia Morgan Black. Trevor John Doerr. Alyssa Paige Adonall. Tanner William Shank. Kelly Taylor Massad, a third generation graduate. Coley Bruce Lee, a third generation graduate. Riley Michelle Hughes. Thatcher Braxton Gardner Brown Chonka. Colby Rebecca Berry. Lauren Elizabeth Hale. Meredith Lee Boatwright, a fourth generation graduate. Andy Ishmael Dominguez. Laura Catherine Pitcock. Erwin Dominguez. Kelsey Ann Couch, a third generation graduate. Sneha Patel. Ariana Avlos. Jonathan Edward Paddock, a second generation graduate. Edward Lance Gregory Jr. Kroll. David Landon Kroll, a second generation graduate. Trey Weston Davini. Trevor Walker Upton, a second generation graduate. John Tyler Paul. Cody King Moore, a third generation graduate. Jaden Lane Leslie, a second generation graduate. Graham Aldrich Hornsby. Connor Madison Meacham, a third generation graduate. Majid Matthew Serafipour. Susanna Michelle Gutierrez. Matthew Lane Johnson. Ahmed Alifaj. Adam James Barton. Gabriela Maria Gear. Blake Anthony Ratcliffe. Katie Nicole Miller. Sunil Patel. Elise McKenzie Webb. Ryan Pierce Tomlinson. Caroline Roberts. Isaiah Arturo Lara. Sarah Christine Seabom. Good to see you. Lock Guy Long. <laughs> Caroline Elizabeth Carl, a fourth generation graduate. Sarah Kimberly Two. Ashton Lee Ray. William P. Funk. Lauren Nicole Leslie. Uchen Lee. Lauren Taylor Wimberly. Elmer. Daniel Eric Elmer. Paula Andrea Gonzalez. William Nash Hill. 
Megan Elizabeth Schaaf. Cooper David Hedge. Lauren Elizabeth Schwartz. Charles Joseph Ramsey. Mackenzie Elizabeth Sork. Cade Patrick Cordnoy. Kristen Lydia Robertson. William Perry Lounsbury. Bobby Rose Becker. John Lawrence Schuplein the second. Driana Michelle Adkins. Kevin Ryan Servants. Jordan Husney Swice. Brock Bradley Thompson. Rex McCray Swinney. Weifu Shi. Blake Calvin Turner. Long Chen. Bill Christian Colmia, a second generation graduate. One more time. Ke Chung. Ke Chung Zong. Taylor McKenzie Burnett. Erica Pasillas. Erica Pasillas. Catherine B. Rausch. Manuel Guardado. Andrew Dyer Lewis, a fourth generation graduate. Bailey Margaret Dempy Wolf. Robert Michael Bass, a third generation graduate. Timothy David Strickman. Court Preston Hagen, a third generation graduate. James Scott Darden. Bobby Opiamir Amasha. Brandon Sandoval. Justin Cole Reinking. Sean Michael Brewer. Lucas Miller Meacham, a fourth generation graduate. Seth Dalton Truitt. Stuart Henry Kraus. Zachary Drew Decker, a second generation graduate. Trevor Joseph Weinrich. Braden Matthew Davis. Matthew Stephen Amonte. Evan Rabb, a third generation graduate. Joseph Patrick Riney, a second generation graduate. Nicole Albro. Connor Coleman Sykes. Megan Marie Lieber. Grant Hoover Golkey. Melissa Vincent. Connor James Fitch, a third generation graduate. Michaela Ashton Barnes. Taylor John Labrie, a second generation graduate. Carter Forrest Van. Gavin Tate Nado, a second generation graduate. Andrew McKenzie Burks, a third generation graduate. Corbin Scott Metz, a third generation graduate. Yes. Dylan Lane Skaggs. Daniel Paul Hovala. 
Rachel Marilyn Mann. Joseph L. Hayhurst. Zhu Wang. Megan Amanda McCollum. Travis Ty Kennedy. Mary Catherine Motley. Walker Franklin Brook, a fourth generation graduate. Lindsay Marie Chakowski. Christian James Van Fan. Macy Elizabeth Clayton. Rachel Elizabeth Whitfield. Kaylin Marie Kelly, a third generation graduate. Brandon Trey Widener. Ariel Jade Bailey. Casey William Crane. Reagan. Mackenzie Reagan Peterson. Connor Michael Andreen, a second generation graduate. Candace Elaine Kurtz. Blaine Warren Brewer. Blaine Warren Brewer, a third generation graduate. Gabrielle Joyce Culver, a second generation graduate. Jacob Nathan Coker. Emery Leela Brown, a fourth generation graduate. Chandler Thomas Clark. Ali Elizabeth Marino, a second generation graduate. Grant Andrew Oder. Aaron Allison Hyun. Gullen Ablin. Shelby Lane Blankenship. Henry James Novak. Callaway Michelle Dean, a second generation graduate. Brian Austin Richards. John Isaac Dumas, a second generation graduate. Clark Allen Killian, a second generation graduate. Hannah Louise Hammond, a fourth generation graduate. Landon Scott Strunk, a second generation graduate. Andrew Kraft Racky. Colin Lee Owen, a second generation graduate. Emma Carolyn Marie Cazese. Tasha Gupta. Ashley Lauren Stevens. Michael Corbett, a second generation graduate. Melanie Martinez. Christopher Bell. Joanna Glory Nananathiam. Colton Anderson. Courtney Michelle Coleman, a second generation graduate. Josh Stokesbury, a second generation graduate. Edema Blessing Ilodebe. Benjamin Summer. Christina Tu Nguyen, a second generation graduate. Justin Philip Ferguson, J. Ferg. Vicky Hui. May Metzler. Mac Metzler. Mac Metzler, a fourth generation graduate. 
Tommy Tran. Justin Blake Elliott. Mark Wee Conk Win. Brandon Scott Baker. Clayton Joseph McConville. Coleman Lee Crawley. James Brody Masterson. Kyle Edwin Wilborn. Nicholas Ford Kilborn, a second generation graduate. How you? Scott Del Rodden. Cassidy Hope Dolph, a second generation graduate. Madeline Meli Ta. Dorna Akavian. Ashley Deshelle Cook, a second generation graduate. Liam Heath Myro. Rachel Ann Peterson. Brendan Joseph Taylor. Riley Ann Lomax. Christopher Allen Staub. Madison Avery Moore or Jared Dwayne Schieber, a second generation graduate. Reed Russell Wimberly, a second generation graduate. Vaughn Henry. Reese Thomas Vaughn Henry, a fourth generation graduate. Olivia Shannon Bullock. Marvin Rex Schatz. Yes. Marvin Rex Schatz, the third. Jordan Madison Catlett. Ka Mong Tran. Brooke Nicole Watson. Wong Tai Mae Win. Anton Paul Hennick. Christopher Michael Perry. Valentina Francis Blass. Caitlin Victoria Sanders, a second generation graduate. Jake Burnett Callaham, a third generation graduate. Zachary Ray Garner. Jesse Cole Worthington. Sierra Shalane Davis. Pep Juan Tuan Tran. Desiree Jade Muse. Mohammed Noon. Saki Dow. Kamal. Kamal Ahmed. Siri Ma. Gunnar William Durham, a second generation graduate. Ku Jiang. John Chase Alford. Judith Regina Waller Alvarado. Braden Wood. Pfeiffer, got it. Austin Troy Pfeiffer, a second generation graduate. Kyle John Casillas. <laughs> Nicholas Curley. Constantine Alhav. Dylan M. Roberts. Joseph Edward Potter. Hamidi. Jamal Isaac Hamidi. Connor Blake Horton. 
Michael Earl Alexander, a second generation graduate. Jacob Claude Huckabee. Brooklyn Jade Motley. Kyle Gaines Towery. Madison Danielle Deadman. Nicholas Alexander McGee. Holsey. Congratulations. Victoria Ann Holsey, a second generation graduate. Dina Marie Spagnola. Michaela Cornel Linneman, a second generation graduate. Miranda Nicole Thomas. Darren. 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 Julianne Catherine Zarin. Jessica Lane Robertson. Salma Ahmad Shayef. Yeah, Salma Ahmad Shayeb. Hunter Renee Hughes. Nikkei Hurd. Congratulations. Jayla Nikkei Hurd. <laughs> Paige Ann Gonzalez. Alicia Sarah Williams. Carlos Zermino. Taya Nicole Glenn. Ross Wayne Wheeler. Michael Hudson Jr. Claire Patrice Mitch. Catherine Avery Panzers. Ian Dubois Berg Moores. Melissa Aaron Shine. Chris Edward Lindsay. Austin Harvey Strain. Eric Michael Suter. Morphopolis. Matthew Miles Morphopolis, a second generation graduate. Kelly Logan McCord. Kristen Lauren Dahlen. Brady Crockett Roberts. Mallory Laura Tomlinson. Andrew Ryan Nilsson. Dambuki Wama Wakilonzo. Parker Christian Johnson, a second generation graduate. Niels Vanderberg. <laughs> Scott Richard Story. Rena. Rena Yvonne Shimonzi, a third generation graduate. Micah Alexander Hinton. Denfeld Tupten Dorji. Ryan Lawrence Men. Minyu Benga. Michael Minyu Benga. Victoria Ren Jane. Okay. Malwin Singh Surjit Singh. Clinton Brooks Maxey, a third generation graduate. Matthew John Freeman. Shane Colton Marshall, a second generation graduate. Cameron Lamont Wright. Jaron Ray Bisbee. William Grant Kell. Lydia Nicole Phillips. 
Alex Christopher Henthorn, a second generation graduate. Tyler Matthew Ambergy. Trey Thomas Honer, a second generation graduate. Alexander Stephen McClintock. Yes. Jaron Alexander Polowski. Ryan Philip Spitzer. Got it. Kyle Brandon Hendricks. Grady William Hi. Milligan, a second generation graduate. Hayden Tyler Hannock. Haley Marie Hunter. Jack Emerson Sparks, a second generation graduate. Dylan Denny. Uh, Loudon, Loudon, yeah. Congratulations. Adam? Loudon. Yeah. Peyton Adam Loudon. Cole Denton Wood, Jr. Tyra Janae Wilson. A third generation graduate. Maurij Mahmoud. A second generation graduate. Emma Lee Hensley. Connor Paul Preston. A fourth generation graduate. Solby Yu. Andrew Jean Goodnight, a second generation graduate. Sue. Julianne Sue. Connor Sean McKee. Tyler Johnson Gatewood, a second generation graduate. Ryan James McGibbony. Roshan Nand Bojwani. Paxton James Pennington. Flanagan. Haber. Matthew Davis Flanagan. Brooks Tabor Pinnell. Brady. Brady Jacob Justice, a third generation graduate. Kendall Jean Duncan. Lissa Ray Murray. Taylor Renee Campbell. Peoples. I like it. Brady Ryan Leopold. Ian Vaughn Harrison. Duan Latre. Got it. Duan Latre Taylor. Yeah. Randy Ray Campbell. Hank Griffith Thompson. Turner Lillian Conwell. Samuel Iheke. Ryan William Tobin. Perry Alexis Demopoulos. Harrison Scott Williams. Madison, okay, Madison, Madison, Alyssa Ong. Madison, Alyssa Ong. Dylan Thomas Horoski. Okay. Jose. Jose David Ramos. Alexander Jefferson Jennings. Zachary B. Scott. A second generation graduate. Natalie Elizabeth Musser. Alexander Christian Duncan. Ready? Rebecca Peretti. Mausa Jafar Alomran. Megan Amelia Mongrain. Kyle Preston Batman. Kyle Preston Batman. Sophie Rachel Koenig. Second generation. 
Eric David Kelly, a second generation graduate. Mary Lauren Stengel. Tyler Justin Wright. Mackenzie Carmichael Marchand. Mongui, Mongi Gashinga, Gashwinga. Jason Mongi Gashwinga. Yahweh Shu. Calvillo. Kevin Skyler Calvillo. Jacob Rainbolt, a third generation graduate. Christopher Ryan Matula. Alonso Villar. Joseph Patrick Nickel, a third generation graduate. Dylan Hunter Graves. Tanner Rowland. Christopher Michael Banston. Iverson. 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 Oh, it's an I. Got it. I got it. Sam Taylor Iverson. James George Skelly the oh, Third. Crodell. Crodell. Okay. Joseph Paul Crodell, a third generation graduate. Richard Taylor Nicholas. Zachary Joseph Seabrook. Help me with the last name. Marchino. Reed Wesley Marchino, a second generation graduate. William Webb Farish. Terrell Pruitt. Richard Terrell Pruitt the third. Rhett Wallace. Rhett Austin Wallace the third, a third generation graduate. and Connor Wayne Wilson. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Matt. As we conclude, let's do so with a grand OU tradition. Please stand and join us in singing the OU chant, led once again by Alexis Mann. Beautiful. Thank you, Alexis. Congratulations to all of you at this time, graduates. Move your tassels to the left.
This concludes the 2019 Price College of Business Convocation Ceremony. Graduates, you are free to join your families by exiting up the arena. And I've got one last word to say. Boomer!